Welcome to Texas Farmstead Living. On today's video, I'm going to share with you the two methods we use to give CMPK paste to our Jersey dairy cows to help prevent milk fever. If you have a family milk cow, chances are you have heard of milk fever. I strongly urge you to learn all you can about, about milk fever because it is a very common ailment of dairy cows, especially jerseys. I encourage you to learn how to diagnose and all the symptoms, also how to treat, and also have a plan of action in place if your cow does get milk fever. Milk fever is actually not a fever at all. It is paralysis caused by low calcium at the onset of lactation, just before or right after birth. Those are the, you know, the textbook times for milk fever to set in. If you look back at some of my videos about milk cows, I have a video about all the resources that I keep in my homesteading library so that if I do have uh, symptoms in a cow that I can go right to a resource to find out what the cow has. Or also you can go to keepingthefamilycow.com and there is a 911 uh, area there that you can ask questions. Also there is lots of information there about family milk cows and milk fever. I want to disclose that I have no training as a vet or any kind of health uh, provider for cattle or any animals. I'm just here to share my experiences because in the last 20 years, we have really had really good, um, been very fortunate to stave off milk fever in our dairy herd. Today, we're going to show you two methods that we give the CMPK paste. The first method, my vet is going to administer using a uh, applicator gun with uh, giving a whole tube of CMPK paste. Supplemental calcium for ones that may be on the verge of having milk fever. Put your fingers in the corner of her mouth. That'll stimulate her to open it up and then kind of get it to the to the back of her tongue. Just kind of go slow and let them swallow. salivating quite a bit but most of that saliva coming out not the medicine and the second method we add about a fourth of the tube of paste to our dairy cows ration a feed which they already love we add molasses and they seem to you know eat it readily with no problem and also that is a lot less stressful than putting a cow in a head gate and and forcing them with a gun to take the CMPK paste. But if our cows show any kind of symptoms uh, or, or any, any kind of odd behavior, uh, an unsteady gait, uh, any kind of paralysis, you know, anything to give a suspicion that they might have milk fever or ketosis, we definitely give them the whole tube and the head gate immediately. Remember, milk fever is an emergency and it does not get better with time. And so you want to make sure that you have a very clear plan of action that might look like having equipment at your house and keeping some medications. Uh, 
I use CMPK paste for prevention. We give it, a, you know, the day, we try to give it a day or two before they are due to calve in their feed, and we like to give another tube after they calve. So, the, of course, the less stressful way is to put it in their feed, but if you have any reason to think they need a whole tube immediately, do not hesitate. Just it, uh, go ahead and give them the tube of CMPK paste. Another thing that we do that I believe helps prevent milk fever is we provide a stress-free environment for our dairy cows. I know everyone uh, doesn't have the opportunity to let their cows calve out in a pasture, but we are very, very careful about giving them private space and letting them go off alone and have their calf. In 20 years, I have never had to help a Jersey cow uh, calve, and so we feel confident. Uh, you know, we, we watch from a distance, so uh, it usually, you know, helps them not be quite so stressed, but we let them stay with their baby also. Uh, once they can, we do not take the baby away. We really never take the baby away, and we've noticed uh, a lot better health in our dairy herd. I know that's, like I said, it's not for everyone, but that is just what we do, and our cows and calves are extremely happy. Mama and baby always run together. If my cow presented any kind of symptoms with milk fever, uh, I would definitely call my vet. That is my plan of action to have my vet do a ranch call. Um, so, but I do the CMPK pace for prevention. And I would like to share with you a few things that um, in the last 20 years that I've encountered. So about 19 years ago, I found a cow in her dry period, which that is not textbook for milk fever, uh, with her hind legs completely behind her and her front legs were paddling. So I called the vet and he came and administered an IV and she, re she did recover. So that's the worst uh, case that I've ever seen of milk fever. Because after that, any time that my cows, um, after I learned the symptoms and I saw any kind of unsteady gait, I immediately would call the vet, you know, maybe 10 years ago, and, and he would give a tube of CMPK paste, and they would be, and maybe we would follow up a day later, and they would be immediately better. So now we just kind of, even though we're very organic, we are very holistic in how we approach treating our land and our cattle, we still keep CMPK paste tubes on hand all the time. But I just wanted to share with you some things that have worked for us on um, giving the CMPK paste. Of course, we're very careful with their diet and they eat a very well balanced diet. Uh, the only dietary changes I really make the last month is I withdraw the organic alfalfa pellets. But they're definitely fed. Uh, we will soak, we soak their, their uh, grains we grind sorghum for them so uh, anyway you can look back I believe in our uh, winter feeding of dairy cows and see how I make uh, their feed ration and I usually give them herbs but I keep you know it is very important to observe your dairy cow at least once daily better twice but if you'll do that you will definitely have a heads up if something is just not right with your cow and remember it can strike anytime the one time I had milk fever was during a dry period. I hope this video helps and I hope that you will continue to learn more and more about keeping your family milk cow because she is the queen of the farm and she is to me the most important farm animal. She goes and harvests solar energy and brings it back in nutrition for you. From our Texas Hill Country Farmstead to you, have a blessed day and we will see you on the next video. Bye bye. Hi, I'm Karen, creator of the YouTube channel and blog Texas Farmstead Living, where we inspire, educate, 
and guide you into living your healthiest, best life. I would really appreciate it if you would subscribe to our channel. Thank you.